What's up, man? This is Frankie. Let me say, man, my videos are for entertainment purposes, educational purposes. You know, some of the information may be truthful. Some of it may not be truthful. Some of it, like I say, it's just allegations, man. So you always want to do your own research when it comes to my video. So check this out, man. If you're on social media, it's out there that Israel War Cabinet said that they want to respond to what Iran did. You know, they want to do a counterattack. Some people think the response is imminent that's going to come from Israel. But look, check this out, bro. If you listen to social media, they will have you to believe that Iran is the primary aggressor. Like Iran bust on Israel first. If you listen to Western, if you listen to Western mainstream media, you will really think, man, that Iran bust first and nothing can be nothing, nothing can be further from the truth. That's not what happened. They've never attacked Israel from my understanding. You see what I'm saying? It was Israel. That went over there. That's what they said. That attacked, that bombed, you know, Iran embassy and killed some of their military officials, just like I said in the video yesterday. But that ain't the way Western media is reporting it. That look, any reasonable and prudent person would come to the conclusion that Iran would probably respond back. Why wouldn't they? They got a right to protect their country and they got a right, you know, to protect their citizens. So Israel can bust on them and they're not supposed to do anything back. Come on, man. That's not logical. You see what I'm saying? So any reasonable prudent person, man, could have came to the conclusion that, you know, Iran was going to take some type of corrective action. But here's the thing. I don't think Netanyahu and, and his officials, I don't think they're going to use exercise no type of restraint. You know why? Because this is just my personal opinion. I think they won't, man. They want a all out wide scale war. I think that's, I think that's what they want. But I also think that they want to drive, they want to drag America into this wide scale war. I think it's what they want. And see what they wanted, man. They wanted, they wanted, they wanted Iran to reach a point of insanity and respond with rage and anger and what Iran did, they was real strategic the way that they respond. I mean, if you ask me, they were just trying to prove a point. They weren't trying to do anything massive, you know, kill a lot of people or do a lot of destruction. They wanted to go. You see what I'm saying? They want, but see, Iran, when they respond, they was real strategic in the way that they respond. And the way that they responded, what it's doing, it's making Israel look bad. And it's also exposing them, man, for the people that they are. You see what I'm saying? Because they, they real intelligent with the way that they respond. And man, surely in my opinion, man, they could have did more damage than that. Look, they knew I was in advance that Iran was going to strike. And Iran probably wanted them to know. Like I said, I don't think the intention was to cause massive damage, that massive damage or to hurt a lot of people. That wasn't what it's about. I think the whole thing was to let them know, well, look here, man, we will strike you if you do what you did. You know, we will, we will strike you and we can touch you. That's just my personal opinion. You see what I'm saying? Well, look, man, look, I was listening to these two individuals. One individual, man, is going to express the fact that if Netanyahu will respond, man, to what Iran did in the wrong way, it could cause a black swan event. They can crash, man, the global market, particularly, man, the U.S. stock market. And then there's a weapon, a weapons inspector. He's going to talk about what Iran goal was, what Iran's goal was, and what Iran could have done. Check this out. This is, I'm going to let you hear the part about the guy was talking about... Um, you know, if Iran responds the wrong way. This, if Israel escalates if this Israel against Iran, you're gonna, if Israel escalates this against Iran, you're going to see oil prices spike. If they hit $130 a barrel, it's going to crash the global equity markets and the global economy. Because, again, the whole thing's been artificially propped up.
to cheat money from the COVID war. Now, Iran has come out and said that they're going to retaliate. And now Israel warns them that they better not retaliate. Okay, so wait a minute. You can kill whoever you want, but you can't, they can't, you can't retaliate. That's right. And the United States is telling Iran you can't retaliate. They're going to retaliate. Again, when all else fails, they take you to war. Look at the protests going on right now in Israel against Netanyahu. They want him out of there. Even our little Chucky Schumer, the United States Senator from New York, you know, the, the guy that wears his glasses like this. And <laughs> yeah, that guy saying that Netanyahu got to go. Netanyahu's ramping it up. If this thing escalates, it's going to be, it's, it's World War Three. If Israel escalates this against Iran, you're going to see oil prices spike. And see, man, that's a black swan event. Now I want you to hear what this guy, man, said. Um, this weapons inspector, former weapons inspector, what he said about Iran. Iran is dead. It's reestablished deterrence. You see, Israel believed that it could launch a strike against Iran and suffer no consequence. That is no longer the case. Right now, Iranian or Israeli military officials are looking at the damage done to their bases and they understand the following, that Iran deliberately chose not to inflict um, extremely lethal action against Israel, that Iran struck buildings designed to send a signal to Israel and indeed to the United States that it could do what it did in Nevada at Ramona anywhere in Israel, anywhere in the Middle East. And there was nothing the United States, United States <clears throat> or Israel could do in response. This is deterrence. This means that in the future, if either Israel or the United States uh, plan on carrying out an action against Iran, they have to weigh in the consequences of their actions, knowing that Iran has the capacity to reach out and touch any place, any spot, any target in the region, in Israel, we're out of Israel, and there's nothing anybody can do to stop that. This is why President Joe Biden has been on the phone with Benjamin Netanyahu, the Prime Minister of Israel, telling him, do not retaliate. The United States will not be a partner in any offensive action against Iran. Not because the United States is friendly to Iran, but the United States understands the consequences that will accrue should such an attack take place. You see, the United States has been deterred against further action against Iran. Now the question is, what will Israel do? Israel has been trying to lead the United States into a larger conflict with Iran for some time now. Indeed, some people have speculated that the Israeli attack against the Iranian consulate in Damascus was designed for just that purpose, to start a spiral of escalation that would ultimately lead to the United States being drawn into a larger conflict between Israel and Iran. But the Iranians were very clever in designing their response, just like they did when they retaliated against the United States for the assassination of Qasem Soleimani back in 2020. At that time, Iran launched over a dozen missiles against the Al-Assad air base in Iraq. Those missiles struck the air base with extreme precision. But Iran had given the United States advance notice that that base was going to be struck. The United States was able to put its people into bunkers, and Iran ended up destroying empty buildings. But it demonstrated to the United States that it had the capacity to strike any American base in the region with extreme precision and kill as many Americans as they wanted, if they wanted to do that. And America was deterred against future action of that sort. Will Israel be deterred? Again, the Israelis are waking up today, looking at the damage done, understanding that there isn't a place in Israel today that's safe from Iranian ballistic missile attack. That means that Israel understands that any escalation could mean the destruction of Israel. Israel probably isn't going to launch 
a response against Iran. Israel has been deterred from watching that response by the Iranian actions. And in this case, we could say that Operation True Promise was an extraordinarily successful operation, not only for Iran, but indeed for the world. Because Iranian deterrence now is a reality that can hold Israel and the United States in check. Let's be clear. And see, look, bro, if you don't have the ability, man, to discern or know when you're being BS, if you listen to, man, these politicians, you know, if you listen to um, um, Western mainstream media, you know, I heard them saying, oh, Iran, they can't do nothing. What they just did, that's all they got. They can't do nothing. They ain't got no power. See, these folks, man, they lying to people. You see what I'm saying? But thank you for taking time out to watch the video. Have a nice day.